Jaguar Land Rover has finally taken the wraps of the 2020 Range Rover Evoque in Britain. Looking sharper than ever before, the second-generation Evoque borrows styling cues from its big brother, the Velar. It comes with slim LED headlamps, flush-fitted door handles and pronounced wheel arches. The new Evoque gets premium interiors along with use of recycled and natural materials. The SUV gets a 1.5-litre Ingenium petrol motor, which is fitted with a 48-volt mild hybrid system for the first time, along with other engine options. The motor makes 197 brake horsepower and 280 Nm of peak torque. Jaguar Land Rover has invested about £1 billion in the development and delivery of the new generation Evoque. The Tata Harrier is raising the anticipation levels through the roof. Tata has already shown the exterior of the production model of the Harrier and boy does it look good. And now the company has released a teaser of what the interior of the Harrier would look like. Of course, there is little that is revealed, but we can see a glimpse of how close the actual design is when compared to the concept model showcased at the 2018 Auto Expo. The Harrier will have a floating 8.8-inch touchscreen infotainment system along with a dual-tone finish in grey and brown on the dashboard. Expect the number of buttons to be minimal across the dashboard, barring the controls for the automatic climate control. The teaser also reveals chrome surrounds of the aircon vents. More details of the Harrier will be revealed soon and the car is all set to make its global debut next month. BMW has announced that it will increase the prices across its model range of cars by up to 4% from January 2019. The rise in prices could be attributed to cyclical revision which happens due to various macroeconomic factors such as increase in the input cost or increase in freight rates due to increase in fuel prices. However, BMW India has not cited any such reason. According to the information, the increase in prices is only limited to BMW and Mini cars, which are sold through 44 BMW dealerships across India. BMW India, however, hasn't commented on whether it is looking to revise the prices of its range of motorcycles in India yet. So if you love our videos, you've got to give us more power to bring you even more. And to do that, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button.